Hello everyone, this is TJ with Robinhood Coins and today we're hunting three boxes of nickels. And this is video two of a four video series where we're comparing coins from Dallas, Texas, Plano, Texas, and Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. We're gonna kick it off with the Dallas, Texas box and we're hoping for some war nickels, some buffaloes, and some oldies and anything else good for our collection as well as the Robin Hood Coins giveaway for this video. As always, to enter that giveaway, all you have to do is comment on the video and we'll use a random comment picker to select the winner. So with that, let's get into the rolls. I'm on roll one and we already have a super oldie. It's a 1939 and let's see what it is. And we got a Philadelphia. That is awesome. That's a great start to the box. We're on roll 19 and we have our second oldie of the night. It's a little beat up, but it's a 1941. Let's see the mint mark. It's a Philadelphia, 1941 Philadelphia. Over the past several rolls, we also had a 1957 and it was a Denver mint mark. So 1957 Denver there. And then we had a 2009, not the greatest condition. This will probably go back, but it's a 2009 nonetheless. And a 1969 San Francisco. And two 1970 San Francisco's. So got some good finds on the board. We're on roll 23 and we have another oldie. It's a 1949 from Denver. Gotta love it. And I checked the red book. There's 36 million minted on this, but we need to look for the D over S. So here's that 1949 Denver under the microscope, and I don't see any trace of an S, a D over S error, but it's worth a check every time. We're on roll 32, and I think I might have just found silver. It's right here. I think that one's silver. This one I think is all rusty. So let's just go straight to the one that I think is silver. 1943. Yes, it is. That is awesome. Love fine. Oh, San Francisco war mint or San Francisco mint too. I love that. That is good stuff. 1943 San Francisco. Got some silver on the board. And I bet you this is just, yep, 1991, that's just rust. Also in that same roll, the very first coin that I found is a 1952 NS. So this is the uh, roll of San Francisco here. But over the past couple of rolls, we also had a 1968 San Francisco. We had two more of the 1970 San Francisco's. So we'll check out the rest of this roll and let you know what we find. I'm on roll 35 and I just found a foreign coin that looks really cool. Check this out. I have never seen anything like it. I am gonna have to take a picture of this with CoinScope and see if they can help me figure out what this is. I don't even wanna guess what that writing is, but uh, that design right here is pretty cool. I like the swords, looks like a palm tree, very cool. I'll have to check that out, but we have a foreign on the board. We're on roll 40 and I pulled down this nickel right here and I saw this 1941, got another oldie on the board. Let's see what it is. Oh, is this San Francisco too? <laughs> 1941 San Francisco. We'll have to see if it's the large or the small mint mark. I'll check it out under the scope. That's good stuff, another oldie on the board. And over the past couple of rolls, we also had this one right here, which I think is the most chewed up nickel I've ever seen, quite possibly. And then we also had another 2009. We're on roll 48 and we have another oldie in the box. It's a 1946 Philadelphia. Good stuff, gotta love the oldies. And then over the past couple of rolls, we also had a 1957 Denver and a 1957 Philadelphia, as well as two more 2009s. We are on roll 50 and we have another oldie in the box. It's a 1941 Philadelphia. 
Gotta love the 40s. So we finished up box number one, and that wasn't a bad box. It wasn't great, but it wasn't horrible. Anytime you get a 1943 San Francisco War Nickel, that's not a bad box. Uh, we also had a 1939 Philadelphia, which is pretty old, so that's pretty cool. Then we had four of the 2009s. Not bad for the 2009s in a box. And I checked out its Coinoscope, and this is a Saudi Arabia 10 Halala. Uh, Coinoscope comes back with some weird dates. Um, I think most of them say 1972, but I think that also might just be the last year that that coin had been made, 1932 to 1972. But um, still really cool. That's the first Saudi Arabian coin I have. As far as um, AU coins... I don't know if this is a really AU, but it's just really, really nice. And I, I give it credit for AU just because it'll probably be the best 1969D that we have, or at least in the top three for me and my daughter's albums. We also had six of the modern year uh, S mints, San Francisco mints, 1968 through 70. So that was cool. I love those. We had three of the 1941s, a 1946, 1949, 1952 San Francisco, and three of the 1957s, uh, Denver and, and Philadelphia. So as you can see, box one had 23 fines and also got 23 points. And it's because all the 40, 30s, 40s, and 50s were super common, except for the 1952. That was the only one that even had less than 20 million minted. So didn't give a lot of points for any of those. And then the modern coins, the uh, San Francisco's and the 09's get half a point because they're pretty modern. Let's crack into box two and hopefully we have a better box. All right, it's time to get into box number two from Plano, Texas. Hopefully we can find some buffaloes and another war nickel. We're on roll five and we have our first Canadian of the night. And it's our first foreign of this box. Let's see what year it is. It is in 1988. I really like that design. That's a cool looking design. So that's good to have our first foreign for this box. And then I also wanted to show you, just check this out, this 1965. This is just beautiful. Love that. Can't wait to look at that under the scope and see if I can see any steps there. Well, under the scope, we can see the top step here. And then we also have a second step, at least half of it. But uh, none of the others are visible, as you can see. I'm on roll 12 and we have another foreign. It's another Canadian, 1995. I don't get two foreigns in one box very often, so that is super cool. Really liking that. Put that one right there. And then also, we had a 2009 over the past couple of rolls. This one's real beat up. I'm not going to keep that one. And then we had a 1957 Denver. Gotta love that one. A uh, 1953 Denver. A 1970 San Francisco, first San Francisco of this box. And then finally, a 1955 with the Denver mint mark. And so we are going to check that for the D over S. So I do not believe this is the D over S because on all the pictures that I've seen, the D over S would have some excess right here and wrapping around here and potentially down through the middle. On roll 15, and we have our first 40s of the box. 1949 Philadelphia. I know it's not uncommon, but it's still 70 years old, so I'll take it. I'm on roll 18, and I think we found another silver right here. You see that dark greenish tinge. So let's just pull that out and let's see. <laughs> 1944, that's it. Let's see what mint mark, Denver mint mark. Gotta love it. Two, two silver war nickels on the night. One for each of the boxes so far. That is great. In the same roll as that war nickel. And we have a 1948. And it's a Denver mint mark. Gotta love the 1940s oldies. And it's really cool that it was in the same roll as the 1944. Good stuff. I'm on roll 43. And I found another... Oldie, 1940, 
and it's a Philadelphia. And in the same box, I also had a 1956. Look at that, it looks in decent condition for as old as it is. And it's a 1956 Denver. Gotta love it, I'll take it. And then I also had this one that I've never really seen wear it like, like this before. I was wondering if this might be a like a dryer coin at its early stages. I just don't know. Let me know what you guys think. On roll 45, I see the reverse of a San Francisco Mint Oldie. So let's see what year it is. And it's a 1946. <laughs> That's good. We've had that, we've gotten that one before. I believe it's uh, around 13 million minted. That's a good one. Gotta love the San Francisco Mint Oldie. And also over the past several rolls, we also had two more of the 2009s. We had three of the two of the 1959s, and this is the best one. Look at that one. That's just a nice looking coin right there for being how old it is. And a 1957 Denver Mint Mark. Roll 49, and we have another oldie, a 1947 Denver Mint Mark. Gotta love the oldie. And then also, over the last roll or so, we had this 1968 San Francisco. Pretty good looking shape too. No steps or anything, but decent looking going. Roll 50, and we have one more oldie, and it's a 1941 Philadelphia. All right, so we're all done with box number two, and that was better than box one. It was obviously led by the 1944 Denver Mint Mark War Nickel. Gotta love finding silver in a nickel box. We also had two of the modern San Francisco coins. We had three of the 2009s. Two of the Canadian foreign coins. That was awesome to get. And we had this... I don't know if it's quite AU, but man, check that out. That's just a beautiful coin. I gave it credit for AU because I'm sure this is going to go in one of our three albums, me and my two daughters. We also had a 1940, 41, 46S, which is the only relatively low mintage of the, of the box. 1947, 48, and 49. We had a 53, 55, a nice looking... 1956 that's nice right there 257s and three 1959s and as you can see there was 23 finds in it just like the first box however there was 27 points because there was a couple more foreigns which i give a full point on foreigns and the 1946s has a lower mintage than box one's 1952s all right let's jump into box number three and hopefully we get a buffalo and some more war nickels we're on roll one, and I found the first oldie of the box. It is a 1946 Philadelphia. That's right. She got the first oldie. I am freaking out because I literally found the first silver of the box. What is it? It is a 1943. And then what, what from where? From Philadelphia. Yeah, Philadelphia. <laughs> that is awesome. She's working on her second roll. I'm working on roll three, and my other daughter's working on roll four. And she found the first war nickel of the Oklahoma City box. Good stuff. Good job. Thank you. We're on roll 21, and I think we might have a silver right here. It's an iffy. This one almost looks like it could be rust, but you know what? Let's check it out together. And let's see. Oh, yep, 1964, probably in the ground. Not a war nickel. But over the last several rolls, we had a couple other finds. We had this 1969S, which you can barely see that S. It's real small, real thin under the microscope. Um, I can't tell if it's an error or not, but it's definitely not like the other S's on the 1969 that I'm used to. We had our first 2009, and then we had two 
of the 1968 S's. So here's that 1969 S underneath the scope. And as you can see, this is the one that I was mentioning I thought was smaller, but it really isn't. It's just a thinner strike around the left side of it. It doesn't really look like um, very much material has been chewed away post mint damage. It just looks like it was minted thinner than this one. We're on roll 22 and we have another oldie, 1940. Let's see if we have a mint mark. Nope, Philadelphia, but it's still an oldie and I will take it all day long. We're on roll 31 and we found another oldie and it's a 1949 Denver, but it looks like it came out of the ground and we will count it for some points, but we're going to have to send this one back and let someone else find it. In the last couple of rolls, though, we also did find a 1956 uh, Denver Mint Mark as well. And we also found this. Check this out. This is a really cool looking toning. I mean, the blues and the purples. I really like that. That was kind of cool. So it it doesn't have the speared bison. I mean, I looked at that one pretty good, but it has does have some pretty cool toning. So that's awesome. The very next roll, and we have a 1940. Let's check out the mint mark. And it's a Philadelphia. And it's an oldie, though. We will take it. Roll 36, and we got another oldie. This time, it's a 1941 Philadelphia. We've been getting a lot of the Philadelphias in this box. Um, but we still do are getting the oldies. And over the past couple of rolls, we also had this uh, 1959 Denver, see right there, hopefully. Uh, so that's a nice little oldie right there. And we got a couple more of my favorite, the 1969 San Francisco and the 1968 San Francisco. Good stuff there. Working on the last roll and we have a foreign on the box. Uh, last roll luck. I love getting foreign coins and this one is from the Cayman Islands. 1982 and it looks like I got a turtle on the back cool coin right there Queen Elizabeth II on the front just a nice little coin right there and over the past several rolls we also had 1969 S uh, and then we had a 1970 San Francisco that one's a little bit nicer and then we had two really beat up 1958s. We're going to have to go ahead and send those back. But uh, we'll count them for some points in the 50s. And then we had a 1954 Denver Mint Mart. Wow, in that same roll, towards the end, the last roll luck here is just continuing on. Because we got a 1947 and it's a Philadelphia. Lots of Philadelphias in this box. But that is awesome. We might as well finish out this roll. Just, I mean, heck, we've already had two finds in this roll already. Oh, 1948, another one. Holy cow. This is a Denver Mint Mark. Good stuff. <laughs> Wonder if there's going to be anything else. Nope, doesn't look like it. But still, that was pretty good. Two oldies and a foreign in the same roll. So we finished up box number three, and that was an okay box. Anytime you get a Silver War Nickel 1943 Philadelphia in decent shape, that's a decent box. And I've been on a pretty good hot streak with uh, War Nickels lately, averaging one and sometimes two per box. But unfortunately, I can't find a buffalo to save my life. So we're just going to keep hunting, and hopefully we get those buffaloes. Here's the wrap up though. We had a total of seven of the modern San Francisco mints, 68 through 70. We had one 2009. Oh, we had this Cayman Islands, which is really cool. Um, first time I found one of those hunting a box. I didn't give this credit for AU or anything, but I really love the toning on this coin. Just awesome. We also had two 1940s, a 41, 46, two 47s, and a 48. We had two 54s, a 56, four 1958s, and a 1959. But unfortunately, the box didn't get a whole lot of points because there wasn't anything less than 30 million minted in all of the 40s and 50s. So just really common coins. 
but we did have that war nickel, so that helped it out for a total of 25 fines and 25 points. Pretty average, if you, in my opinion. And so overall, the Plano box wins again, 23 fines and 27 points, beating out both the Dallas box with 23 points and the Oklahoma City box with 25 points. So the Robin Hood coins giveaway for this video is going to be a 2009 Denver, a 1946 San Francisco, and a 1952 San Francisco. This 1956 Denver with a little bit of luster left on it. Nice looking coin there. And finally, last but not least, a 1943 Philadelphia War Nickel. As always, to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is comment on the video and we'll use a random comment picker to pick the winner. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any videos or giveaways, and share it with others to help the channel grow and help me do more videos and more giveaways. And with that, I will see you on the next hunt.